Hello there and welcome to yes another video. In my last video I had a look at perspective and in particular the things that, that flat earthers say about perspective and why they don't make any sense. And I mentioned that I would do another video about the human eye and how it relates to perspective. Having thought about it I've decided to do another couple of videos on this to see all the things that I want to say. In this video I just want to think about lenses and also a little bit about the human eye and how it works. In particular I'm just going to be thinking about convex lenses which are shaped like this oval here. So the oval here in front of you represents in the diagram a convex lens. A lens is just a shaped piece of transparent material which bends light in a certain way, in a very specific way. Associated with a convex lens like this is what's called its focal length. Now the focal length is a distance to a point called the focal point. If the lens is focusing the light at a certain distance and you put a screen there at that distance then you will see an image of things that are out here in the world. So the light's coming in from the right, passing through the lens, being bent by the lens towards this screen in some way and if the light's focused in the right way, then you should see an image on the screen. And we're going to be thinking about how it's focused. Now, the distance to the focal point, like I said, is the focal length, depends on how powerful the lens is, which depends on the shape of it. So if the lens is more convex like this, it's more powerful, and the focal length is less, if it's more, it's less convex like this, then the focal length is longer and the, the lens is less powerful. And the focal point helps us to um, work out where light will go as it comes into the lens. Now what happens to light as it passes through the lens depends on the angle of the light and also where it hits the lens. So first of all, we're just going to think about some rays of light hitting the lens um, all at right angles to the lens like this Put another one here so all these rays are parallel and they're all hitting the lens at 90, de 90 degrees or at right angles to the plane here that the lens is in. Now what happens is all the, this light will be bent by the lens so it goes to the focal point like this. So any light at all that's coming in at this angle will be bent by the lens towards the focal point and it will pass through the focal point. So that's the first thing to learn about lenses. The next thing is that if light comes in and passes straight through the centre of the lens like this, then we can model the light as basically just passing straight through the lens like this. What really happens is the light is bent very slightly, goes through the lens and is bent very slightly back through the same angle and carries on, um, more or less in line with the light that came in. It's offset very slightly, but we can assume that the light pretty much just travels straight through the centre of the lens like this. Also, any light that's parallel to this ray here put, in, put a couple of them in so any ray of light that's parallel to this one that's coming straight through will be focused to this point here at the focal length and the point where this ray here meets um, reaches the focal length 
So they'll all be focused right to there. Okay. So that's all I want to say about lenses for the moment, um, about what it does to light. There's, it's, an, it's amazing how much you can do with lenses just knowing that, those basic facts. That if the light comes in at a right angle, then it'll pass through the focal point. If it goes to the middle of the lens, it'll pass straight through. And any light parallel to that line there, going straight to the middle, will be focused to the same point at the focal length there. Okay? Right. Let's have a think about the human eye. So this diagram is meant to model the human eye. Now, obviously, it doesn't look anything like an eye, but it doesn't really matter. It's the geometry of what we're concerned about. And the scales aren't going to be realistic either, but it doesn't affect the main points. Uh, now, inside your eye, you have a lens. And the lens focuses the light onto a photosensitive, a light-sensitive area at the back of your eye called the retina, where it forms an image and that image is somehow transmit, transmitted along the optic nerve electrically to your brain, and your brain mysteriously somehow, we don't understand how, it turns that into a visual experience. That's the mysterious bit. But what happens inside the eye is, is very well understood. There's nothing particularly mysterious about it. It's just basically a lens focusing light. So if you see the green light here, and the light from it was traveling towards a lens. Now we'll just assume it's a lens and an eye. Now obviously the scales involved here are just slightly ridiculous, but it doesn't really matter. It's the, the main arguments aren't affected by that. Now the light is close enough so that the light coming from it hits the lens at significantly different angles, as you can see. So you've got light that comes towards the lens at right angles to it and is bent and so it passes through the focal point and moves towards this point here. You have light going straight through the lens, through the middle of the lens, which will just pass straight through and will go to that same point. Now, any other light, no matter where it hits the lens, will be bent by the lens to so it goes to this same point. Okay, So to know where this point here will be focused by the lens to create an image of it, you really only need to consider the light going straight towards the lens at right angles to it, which goes through the focal point, and a beam of light going straight through the middle of the lens. Those two will tell you where the light will be focused. Any other light going to the lens will just go straight to that point as well. Okay, so I've put a screen here which represents the retina. And so this green light will form will form a focused image of itself onto this screen here, or retina, whatever it is. So let's think about what happens if this light moves further away. Say it goes to there. Now I'll do that again. Watch. There's a couple of things that, that are important to think about. One is, think about how far it away is from this blue line going through the middle. You notice it gets closer to it. Now that's relating to perspective, which I'll go into more in the next video. Okay. Also, notice that it's getting closer to the lens, which is more relevant for what I want to talk about in this video. So the, the light's moved further away, and the light from it now has been focused at this point here in space. So it's no longer focused onto this line here, which represents the retina. So the light from this light here, as it reaches the eye, will be out of focus, so it won't be focused for the observer looking at it. So how do you get it back in focus? Well, with a normal lens, what you do is you just move the lens so it's closer to the screen, or you move the screen so it gets in focus again. But the human eye is a fixed size. The distance from between the retina and the lens is fixed. So what the eye does to refocus it is that it changes the actual shape of the lens inside your eye so that it changes the focal length and the focal point moves. 
So to get this point back in focus, what we'd have to do is become slightly less convex, like this. And that would push the focal point further away and the light will be re refocused onto here. And that's what your eye does. And you can do this yourself. You hold your finger up quite close to your eye and you can focus on it. And as you move your finger away, your eye can stay focused on it. Now what your eye is doing is it's changing the shape of the lens inside your eye so that the light stays focused on your retina. And that's what you do if, you know, if you hold your finger up close and you look at it and it's in focus, you can notice that the, the dis things in the distance are out of focus. And then if you look at things in the distance and become in focus, then your finger goes out of focus. So um, the, how far away something is, is when it's been focused by your eyes depends on the focal length, which depends on the shape of the lens, which, like I said, your eye can change. The muscles in your eye can actually change the shape of it, which is really quite remarkable when you think about it. Okay, so... Um, what I want to think about is what happens when this line, this point here moves really far away. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line in here just to guide me where I'm going with this. Oops. I need to snap to grid again. <clears throat> so put this line in here. I'm going to move this point along this line here. And I don't need this line here just now, so I'll just get rid of it. So I'll zoom out. And I can move the green light. way, way further away. I can zoom out a bit further. I can move it all the way along here. Like so it's really, really far away now. And I'm going to zoom back in. Now notice one thing. The light, I'll get to this guideline just now. All the light from that point, although all these three rays are coming from a point, it's so far away that they're practically parallel now. And so they're now meeting at, this, at the focal point. But it's not focused on the retina. So what the eye would have to do is become even less convex and move this out so that that point's focused on the, the retina again. And that's called focused on infinity. And that's what happens if, um, say you look at something in the distance, your eyes focus on things that are very far away. And things that are very far away, the light is all more or, more or less parallel when it reaches your eye, just like a point here like this. So when things are very far away, all the light coming from the point, a point very far away is parallel when it reaches your eye. And your eye will adjust its focal length so that the focal length is the same as the distance between the lens and the retina. And that point will be focused onto the retina. Okay, let's think about, say we move the point See, we move it up to there in space and then zoom back in. Now, notice that 
the three green lines are still more or less parallel. And remember what I said before, the light that comes straight to the middle of the lens just passes straight through it and will be focused at the focal length, which is here because that's the, the lens has changed its shape so that the focal length is actually right at the retina. And these rays here, because they're parallel to that one, they'll all just go straight to that point as well. I'll turn this off. Oh, off anyway. Right. So that ray goes to there. And that ray will go to that point as well. Okay. So when the point moves up in space, it moves to a different point on the screen, to a different point in the image. Even though, um, but it will just appear as a point in the image because it's just one point of light in space. So it'll just point, appear as one point of light on the image. But it moves down. So because, the, because of the way the lens focuses, basically what it does is, it focuses things upside down. So the, the point of light moved up the way, so it moved down in the image. Okay, As it moves closer and closer to the line going straight through the middle of the jump, the line from the focal point through the center of the lens, it will just get closer and closer to that point there, the focal point in the middle. Okay, Right, so that, that's um, just a few things I wanted to say about lenses and the eye before I go on to talk about the relationship between the eye and perspective in the next video.